here it is unboxed oh this thing is so cool um so it does require four double a's in the vehicle and two triple a's in the remote but that's not really too bad but i always wanted like a freaking jurassic park monster truck like look at this thing this is so cool the only thing though i i did test out was it it doesn't fit the minifigures because there's no there's no like leg space here so that's the only bad thing you could probably put a figure in the back but yeah but that's but this is really nice the detail on this 18g jurassic park all that jazz even the wheel in the back so you would put the batteries in here but this doesn't screw right because it's like i because it does go in the water i did test with this thing before i did the review it can go on water because it does have these foam tires, very foam. So you put the batteries here because it seals into this thing, waterproof thing. There, you put the screwdriver and there's like a, a button mechanism and then you put it in there instead of screwing it. It does make sense for that. So, and also the remote too. This is also waterproof, but yeah, ain't me that can swim. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, yeah. Also, the button is right here. See, so I switch this on. It will go red and basically could drive. Whoa. Interesting thing about this, actually, um, it does, it wheels do not like, you know, like, you know, move in, you know, right or left. They actually do this. We're here. They actually, one of them goes backwards and the other one goes forward. So you can have this 360 maneuver. I really like this about it. But first, we gotta test it on land. And then we'll do the finale where we put it on the water. All right, now let's first test it on the grass. I guess it's doing well on the grass. All right. Okay, it kind of goes through the grass, but it has to be kind of like dead weight grass. Kind of, yeah, like that. Cause it's very low because i tried it out in high grass it does not work in high grass so do it in like low dead grass areas so it works better on that with just the camera a bit there it is <laughs> the other way i will be testing it in my pool not the lake um because you know what happens if there's a lake alligators whatever things maybe an otter but yeah but in the lake, it's not gonna be good. But in the pool, probably be fine. So I advise go for grass that has very like dead grass areas, not high grass. Something like a field or something. But yeah, this checks out. It does work in the grass. Here we are at the pool. And now let's test this guy in the water. So let me just walk. This doesn't fall, but whatever. Hold on. All right, it's in the water. Now let's drive. As you can see, it's kind of slow, but it does work in the water. Kind of slow. It is water and land, so it can go through the water. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool with this. But yeah, it can go in the water. It is waterproof, so. <laughs> so yeah, it basically can go through the water. I really like this now. <laughs> At first I was kind of, you know, thinking probably it wouldn't work, but it does. Now it's driving away to the area. So now, Anyone can get one this ride. <laughs> Anyone can go in through this Jeep and ride away. So, I just love this. And also you kind of get experience what my area is like. Now it's coming to the area. Yeah. So yeah, you can basically make it go backwards. Or forwards, and then you turn it. Yeah, I advise get this because it's really well made. So it's like the um, it's like a there was another one with like a shark or something. But yeah, I do. I think a while back I did a review on like a Mattel thing, 
and I showed my Jeep off, and that can only go on land. And it's probably, and also I think it's faster than this, but with this, you can actually go through the water. And it's really nice. I really like it. All right, now let's report back to the review station. Well, guys, that was a really fun thing I just did today. <laughs> with this, mo this monster truck, I say is really worth it for 30 bucks at Walmart. Like, severely worth it. Also, I I'm, I forgot to compare this, but yeah, um, I did I did forget I did have this Jeep, um, Jurassic Park Jeep. Um, so this this is like you know if you want like just a land experience, and also you can fit minifigures in here, and also I kind of like it better for like land. But um, yeah, it if you want like the fun experience with going on land, sand, or water get this if you want like something that you know you want land and you can put your figures in or dinosaurs in well you can't also put dinosaurs in this one but if you want something that you want your figures in then get this one and also here's the difference with the controllers you can see uh there's a lot difference where the this is the booster and then all that triggers this one's the buttons interesting i don't know what the top does uh, it does it does nothing i don't think and also, um, this does not turn off, to, but this does. Um, it will automatically turn off. So if you're thinking, oh no, it can't turn off, uh, it can turn off by itself. So that's a good thing. So if you want to get this, this is like 20 bucks at Target. And if you want this one for at Walmart, it's gonna be 30 bucks. But I would probably prefer getting both of these because <laughs> they're both actually good. They're both even in their ways. This one with the design and big uh, city, and then, you know, this guy with all the corks and everything. And yeah. Also, let me compare it with a dinosaur, too. Size comparison, it's bare. It's kind of, it's very, like, good size with, like, a baryonyx. So, you know, you can have the, the, the monster truck in the river, and you, you have your guys on the, the truck, and they're shooting down this baryonyx, and, you know, attacks from the wheels, and all that. So, it's pretty perfect for, like, you know, dinosaur scale and human scale. You just need to... Have your human figures kind of stay on the vehicle since there's no, like, you know, there's no holes in underneath. You can't really have your uh, human characters have their feet inside, so. But you can have it with Timmy, or Tim, from uh, Jurassic Park for some reason. I don't know why, but this is the only character I think you can only fit in there. But yeah, this is pretty good comparison for, like, a Baryonyx. T-Rex, on the other hand, this would absolutely destroy it. <laughs> or a Spino, but yeah. But yeah, guys, this was my fun review on this, the Jurassic Park Jeep Wrangler RC water and land car. It, this was an excellent one. I give this 10 out of 10 straight because it can go through water, puddles, sand, and, you know, dirt. And, probably, and you know, it can also go in mulch. I forgot to say that. But it can't really go in grass. That's the only thing that just annoys me, but not really effective to the rating. But, um, yeah, it kind of, it more, it's, it's more can go on, like, you know, like, low grass, basically. Not high grass. You can't really get through, probably because of the underbelly, pretty much. But, yeah, this thing is perfect. I will leave the links below to buy this thing, because I love this thing already. I recommend it very much. I think I'm the only person on YouTube to review this yet. Or anyone, because I looked online to see if this can go in water anyways, and no one. But something similar like the Megalodon one. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a fun time. I'll see you guys all next time. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this will be my 239 uh, subscribe special. I did forget about that. Um, and also I do have some bad news about the Interactor. Um, yeah, we have just some minor issues. So the only problem is... As you can see on the toe, what happened to it? Um, it fell off my shelf and its nail broke. So I don't know if I'm gonna continue the series of the Indoraptor Gen 2. I'll probably will, but I gotta fix that guy up. And I don't think it's gonna be in the 239 special, but this will be. And also I do have another video coming and everyone always loved this dinosaur. They always wanted it and well, in Jurassic World. And it's a famous dinosaur, and let's just see it starts with an A, and it's a carnivore. But, uh, yeah, thank you for 239 subs. Two months, we get 100 subs. Less than two months. I'm, I, I'm so grateful, guys. <sighs>
keep keep subscribing, keep liking, and also I had to have a Discord. So join there, have some fun, and also you get some sneak peeks as what's coming next. But yeah, I'll see you guys all next time.